They're boiling in there. You tell me all that was wild game like this? Or shrimp? So we're doing a little surf and turf. Some pork chops and catfish. All right, well, we gotta go. Client just shot a hog, ran over to the neighbor, so we're gonna go track him down. And every snake will puff up, but we just know what the rat snakes look like. And this but is. But if they do, they stay calm. That's why you're not gonna get bit. See you later, baby. You're beautiful. tell you what this whole experience has been nothing short but amazing they found the sow I guess they shot a female so got the pig we're gonna go back to camp cook it up like a little do a little backstrap over the fire and then do a little bit of fishing so that's a uh, good times very very exciting this is what it's all about for me guys it's all about uh, sharing this with other people <laughs> nice fish that's awesome <laughs> And these guys are subscribers and YouTube followers and uh, Facebook as well. And they've been, they've been following for a little while now and been wanting to do this. So I'm super stoked and super pumped for them. Uh, if it wasn't for the wireless camera, we wouldn't have a pig. We wouldn't know the pigs were there. Um, and so we set up the cameras, set up lights, which we didn't even need. They ended up shooting during the day. The Great Hunters. Got it done. I brought the dog and everything. Hey, I was worried for a minute. There ain't no blood in it. All of a sudden, it just opened it up and just blood everywhere. Boar, Sal. Boar. A boar. Oh, that's the one. There was three this morning. There was three boar. That's all they was. Three. Was that the only one that had the Razorback mane on it? So. Dude, I've been keeping an eye on that one, man. That's awesome. Hey, good job, girl. Are you happy? Y'all tired now I'm from dragging us? Dude, that's great. <laughs> great shot. Where was the shot at? Well, he was... So was he at the feeder or were they coming on the way to mm -hmm. start leaving? Before I got your message, we was already halfway down that lane right there. On that side? Yeah. 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 See what I was talking about up the hill where you can kind of creep up on them? Uh, we got, I don't know, about where we parked at yesterday. Uh-huh. And they jumped out in the middle of the road and they went to wallow in that little mud hole. Oh, see, so wait. Really? Come back this way. Or came back in where they went in late yesterday. Yeah. So we come right through this way, just like we came. And uh, about the time we got right over at that tree, it was over by this fence. And the other two already took off in here and he, I guess, spotted us or whatever and turned and looked at us. I mean, almost a straight on shot. You know, he ran, he dropped, took off right through here and did run 60 yards. Finding it, was she excited or something? <laughs> I was hoping you, I was hoping you filmed that part. Yeah, I filmed us tracking it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Some of it, most of it anyway. Sweet, man. Hey man, you're farting on your neck, bro. Sweet. Little young boar, gonna be good eating too. Yes, cool, well, let's go back to camp. And y'all were trying to sleep in too. A little bit. I didn't mean to bother yeah. you, man, but hey, y'all came to hunt, not sleep in, but I'm glad you did though. I was trying to put y'all on something and it happened. It you got it done, man. Let's get up. Look at the fat on that thing. What's it been eating? Corn? Yeah, not no more. <laughs> fat, though. Dude, that's some good looking straps, bro. Y'all gonna eat good. Well, I guess we're gonna eat good too, right? We're gonna get the fire rolling. Yeah. 
tempted for him to go ahead and do it. I'm not nearly as fast as he is. <laughs> Looking good. Boom. It's all about balance, baby. Man could work a knife for sure. Hey, that look easy, bro. Makes a difference when they got a sharp knife, too. It does. Boom. It's off the rope. It's off the rope. Hey, good job, buddy. Thank you, sir. Guys are awesome. This is a dream client. This is who you want coming here. <laughs> I have a feeling the majority of them are not going to be like this. They're not going to know how to get dirty, how to stock a, on a pig, and, and definitely not how to work a, a knife like you did work. Yes, sir. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all ready for poke chops? Yes, sir. We had deer steaks yesterday. Pork chops. And now we got pork chops. Thanks to Cheyenne. She had her shoot. Is it 10 more years of outdoor happiness? So that's a beautiful uh, back strap. So I can tell you what I would do. What would you do with that? Well, cut the silver skin off. Get the fat off. Mm -hmm. Slice it up, marinate it. Good. That looks nice. Nicely trimmed. Don't even need to rub fat on nothing. Not. It's got plenty of it in it, in that meat. Yeah, we'll just wind up doing this. It's all it needs. See, I like to cook with fire. I'm always burning my fingers. My hands are shrinking. <laughs> like this hand's probably half the size of my other one. Watch. This hand. <laughs> See a difference? Oh yeah, big difference. From the heat. All that heat. Good right. I don't trust. I don't trust a chef. It's too comfortable. And I definitely don't trust a skinny chef. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That just looks good. Oh, shrimps? Did you say shrimp? You're putting shrimp on. You're talking about a surf and turf. Dang. I guess that catfish would have been a real nice surf and turf. You feeling pretty motiv motivated to uh, fillet a piece and put it on the grill real quick for the catch clean cook? They're gonna love that little surf and turf. We'll take these off and then we'll have a surf and turf with that and shrimp. That sound good? Sounds amazing. Alright, let's do it. I'll, I'll, uh, I might pull these off for a second so we're not burning it. Yes, sir. Looks good, don't it? Oh, yes, it do. Rest a little bit. This just looks good. You know that thing's hot. Oh, yeah, man. Good. Mm. I think it's ready. Yeah, mm. a little more done. Well, that's money. 
That's a little salty with the Montreal, but it's good. You done did it, girl. You're my hero. <laughs> Well, my pet catfish is getting eaten. You caught him. You get to eat him. Hey, I named him and everything. Hmm? Hey, George. George? Come on, George. <laughs> hey, you walking my pet catfish on the leash? Dude, those pork chops are money, bro. Are they? Man, that Montreal. Watching your cat be. He's a nice one. You just couldn't pass him up. He looks too delicious, don't he? Exactly. George. Come on, George. And don't worry, we'll club him before we skin him. I know he you mostly skin him alive, right? Yep. But we won't skin George alive. We'll take him out. We'll knock him on the head. Looks like something trying to eat him. Hey, gone. Let's eat. Mm hmm look at that maybe we'll clean the skin and just cook it on with the skin down cook the skin on yeah skin on and then keep it on the grill just let it cook like a salmon yeah give that a little rub down oh yeah How does that look? That, that looks is, money, dude. Boy, tell you what. Gotta tell me twice about George. Mm -mm. Dude, that's gonna be money, bro. Thank you, George. Appreciate you. Time for a cold one. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be good. Pork chops are ready. Did you, did you try one? Pretty good, ain't it? Good. Dang it. You don't even know what you're missing if you ain't had nothing like this. If you ain't living like this, you don't know. Oh, that's good. It's probably medium. If you're scared, go to church. Cook it well done. If you ain't scared, cook George medium. Well, this is not George. This is a Pumba. Right, it's good. So we're doing a little surfing turf. And pork chops and catfish and uh i'm just enjoying the outdoor with my new friend yeah man we're gonna grow 
some scrimps on there. Mm -hmm. What you got on there? What kind of seasoning? Butter in Montreal, too. How did I know it was going to be Montreal? Mm -hmm. You put it in the back or something? Let's see what you got in there. A little peep. Oh, look at the shrimp, boy. That looks good. What is that? Is that garlic? Mm -hmm. I mean, butter? Mm-hmm, butter. Hey. Mm -hmm. And I think the Montreal's got uh, garlic in it too, so making money. Let's have a beer. <laughs> got kids out here riding around, the neighbors, everybody just enjoying this day, living the East Texas lifestyle. You got something in them? Something hard. Is that your bait? Oh, wait a minute. That bone or something. I thought it saw an eyeball. It's a damn bone. It's a bone. Chicken bone. It ain't no chicken bone. <laughs> Some kind of bone. Somebody, somebody been fishing with chicken bones? With chicken? Dude, that's crazy. Dude, that is weird. <laughs> wow. A chicken bone. That's not What is that, fat on there? Yeah. Part of a ho hog or a baby or something, maybe? Oh, that's crazy. There's a bone in this stomach. That's weird. That's very weird. Eyeball? Mm-mm. He said mm-mm. You want an eyeball, baby? A lot of protein. <laughs> that's true. Pork chops are ready too. All right. That's it. That's it. Yeah, sir. Shoot, man, I might dip this in spinach. There you go. I ain't scared. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's good, dude. Is it? Oh, my goodness. Together is good. But that spinach is money. Ooh. That's a high five. Smart dog. Hey, smart. Damn. Good boy. Roll over. Oh, that's a good boy. <laughs> He is a lap dog. He's my road dog for sure. Oh, man. Your scrimps are looking positive, cousin. They're boiling in there. Make sure. I, I don't want you to catch any salmonella or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to get sick. So I'm just going to check it for you. Boy. Good. Mm. You heard her sucking the heads. What about sucking the tails? Hey, I do the same thing. <laughs> if you overcook them, they'll shrink up a little. They don't take the perfect. They take the same size. If you overcook them, they also turn into rubber. Mm-hmm. You got it? I got it. Mm-hmm. Hey, this is actually starting to cook and looking very, very positive. Gosh, dog, dude, and that lemon butter or in that garlic butter you have or whatever. I'll be done, huh? Dude, you should taste that. Put it on my fingers, dude. Golly. Try that. Oh, wow. Dang it. That is it. <laughs> That's it. On a half shell, bro. Just like that. Don't even got to turn it. Look at it cooking nicely. Dude. Wow, that's good. Tell me how that is. It wasn't for her. We wouldn't have fish or pork chops. That's right. She caught the fish and she shot that pig. Huh? I like it. It's good. 
Dang, dude. Good thing we brought her along. We might have been starving. We might have been eating porterhouse and whatever you got. <laughs> Ribeye. Ribeye. <laughs> Instead, it's still in the cooler. That's it. Who needs it? Dang it, that's good. That fish is good. I've been what I've been doing is opening it and let, letting the fire stoke again, so it keeps getting that heat. You can see it's bubbling. And then if the fire got too hot, we would just close it. We never flipped it, not even once. Just look at that thing. Y'all hit that like. I know you're enjoying it, cause we are. And I wish you could smell it. I wish you could taste it. Isn't that right? Good weekend, good weekend. Perfect weekend. Even got a new paint job. Like, Dip it in that shrimp. That. Try that with your top of your shrimp. Not good. <laughs> Dipping that fish in here. Take a little scrimp. Dude, that is hot. <laughs> fish and scrimps. Mm. That's better than Long John Silver's. You remember that restaurant, Long John Silver's? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're kind of full now. We've been snacking, but <laughs> she's ready. And she looks so good. See if you can tell the difference in this, though. The cheek. Oh, wow. See if you can tell the difference in that. You might want to dip in the garlic, but I don't know. Maybe you might want to try it like that. Mm -mm. What do you think? Anything different? There it looks. A lot of difference. Positive? Cheek, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I think so. Let her try that. I think it's way better than the filet, but. Really? Tastes more like chicken or what? Oh, to me, it has a little different flavor. It has a different texture, too. It does. Let me see. Let me see what y'all talking about. Some of this has a skin on it still. This is the cheekbone. Mm. Oh man, that's like the tenderloin. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. That's that's the tenderloin. Tenderloin over catfish. Ooh, that's good. That's it. it. But it comes from the cheek right here. Oh boy. Golly, man, it wouldn't be worth it on a small fish, but mm -mm. I mean that is like one of the best things I think I ever put in my mouth. That's good. Really good. And the texture is nice too. Almost like a tenderloin chicken or something. How's that flaking off? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Dude, I don't think you can get better at a restaurant. I don't think so. Look how flaky that is. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, it's falling apart. You need like a spatulita. There you go. A little piece at a time. Yeah. Dude. That. Here, get some of this right here. This one's like a little different, I feel. I feel like this is a little different. Look at that. Oh, hey, look how tender it is, man. And it's juicy and it flakes right off. That's how you know it's ready. Golly. Mm -hmm. A little shrimp, a little cream spinach, whatever you made there. That was delicious. Let me try this right here. I couldn't help it. No, go for it. That's good. Yeah, man. Sorry about that. It, just <laughs> look, it looked good. I couldn't help it. All right, now it's time for some pork chops and spinach and shrimp. Oh, dang. But see how juicy it is? Mm -hmm. That skin kept all the juice in. It didn't let it come through the grill. And we never turned it. I'm almost wondering what that skin is like. You think the skin's good? I just ate it off that cheek meat. Really? Good. Hmm. I wonder if this been underneath. 
It looks good. I think it'd be tough though. That's why I like to leave the skin though. It literally holds all the juice in. And you can put it on a really hot grill and it's gonna protect the, the top meat or the meat right on top. Dude, that's so good and flaky, man. Surf and turf. Some greens. Dang. That looks slappy, mama good. Tex is like, that looks dang good. <laughs> Tex, you wanna try it? You're gonna be mad at me for trying this fish. Mm -hmm. Ready? What do you think? Oh, he liked that. He's like, give me more. Where's where's more? It's gone, bro. You ate it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can go, what? <laughs> Dang. Drizzle some of that butter on there. Oh, you're about to. Dang. See, I spoke too soon. Didn't give him the man enough uh, <laughs> credit. Tex, you better not. Hey. No. Sit. Sit. Dude, I'd pay fifty dollars for that plate. I'm for real. Like at a, at a restaurant or whatever. If you told me all that with wild game like this, with shrimp, uh, at least thirty eight, right? At least thirty eight. At least thirty eight. Dude, that looks money. Who's trying to first bite? Go for it. Yeah. Well, I guess you. That's your plate. Go ahead, take a little couple pieces. Pretend like nobody's watching you eating. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, there is. Yeah. yeah, get a little bit of that pork chop. That Cheyenne brought home. Sorry, Tex, you can't have it. <laughs> I've still about everything at one time. Dying. Mm. You good? Mine. She already made a plate while ago. No. Hey, put, put a little spinach right there. Yes, sir. What's that? What you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's money. Is that it on the pork chops? Mm -hmm. Right behind the water. Oh, you got some? Mm -hmm. There's one more, one more. Well, that fish is it. Look. I'm over here using a spoon. You guys throw them some fingers all in it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. <laughs> this is it right here. Might look disgusting, but I'll tell you what. There ain't nothing better. There you go, Tex. Mm-mm-mm. Well, that fish is good. Well, that's too good, bro. Just because I like you. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, we're going to end the video. You guys got to go back to the real life now. But I'm sure you're ready to see your kids. Oh, yeah. And y'all been recharged, right? Yeah. Okay. You're tired, but you're recharged. Yeah. I'm going to sleep on the way home. And you got, we got videos, we got pictures, and we got memories. And that's what it's all about for me. About enjoying God's creation, the outdoors. Living off the land and meeting new friends. Isn't that right? That's right. Good job. Thank you. The great huntress. Yes, sir. And you did good too, man. Pretty much got you pretty much guided her. Right? Mm -hmm. She caught that fish. I wasn't even paying attention. I was listening to music. And then you caught that alligator snapper first experience for both of y'all, mm -hmm. which was pretty neat, and it never gets old. I think never. that's my third experience 
and it never ever gets old and y'all remember this we might like to hunt and fish but we love the wildlife we love being outdoors we love all this y'all pass it on to your kids pass it on to the next generation uh, go outside rejuvenate get refilled and just live off the land there ain't nothing wrong with it and of course respect it until next time y'all eat wild appreciate y'all See y'all later. Text. Give me some depths. No, give me some depths, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how you know we had a good day, good weekend.